In this video, we're going to be looking at the enthalpy variation with pressure. Now, that means that we want to look at, uh, get an expression for the derivative of enthalpy with respect to pressure. So our starting point here will just be the general definition for enthalpy, right? So we have H is equal to U plus PV, right? This is just our general definition for the enthalpy. So we know we want to look at a differential. So the differential version of this guy is going to be dh is equal to du plus dpv, right? So specifically, you want to take this derivative, um, you want to group these two terms in this derivative. So since we have a product of two functions, right, we want to differentiate this guy, then we're going to have to use the product rule. So the general derivative would look like this. We'll have du plus so the first term would be PDV plus VDP, right? So all I did there was just uh, take the product rule, right? So now with DU, um, I want to use the total differential form of DU, which we actually looked at in the last video. So we in the last video, we showed that the total differential of DU would just be CVDT plus DUDV. At constant T right that internal pressure term DV right so that's the total differential for DU so I want to take that guy and plug it in here right so taking that guy and plug it in for DU so when we do that we get DH is equal to CVDT plus DU DV at constant T dV plus PDV plus VDP, right? So this is just our general differential for dH. So now we can take this general differential and actually look at, okay, what's going to be the enthalpy variation specifically with respect to pressure, right? So what we want to do is differentiate with respect to pressure at constant temperature, right? So we want to do dH dP at constant T. So if we do that, then the first term, right, CV comes down, and then you have dT dP at constant T plus this partial derivative comes down, that internal pressure term, so du dv at constant t, and then this derivative becomes dv dp at constant temperature, right? And then, so the next term, p dv dp at constant t, plus v dp dp at constant t. Okay, so we got a few things that either simplify and or cancel in this case, right? So looking at this first term, right, we have uh, the differential of temperature at constant temperature. So we know that that's going to be zero, right? Since that guy, um, you're differentiating with respect to the variable that you're holding constant. So that guy's going to be zero. And then this guy is going to be one, right? Since you have dp dp. Right, so this actually simplifies our expression a little bit. So we end up with dH dP at constant T. It's going to be equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and, because these, these derivatives are exactly the same, dV dP at constant T, dV dB, dP at constant T. So I'm going to factor that guy out. So we end up with uh, dV or du dV at constant T plus P dV dP at constant T plus the volume, right? So this is a general expression for our variation of enthalpy with respect to pressure. So in this, um, so in this expression, we still have our internal pressure term 
right? But and it's very actually very sim similar to our relationship between CP and CV, except we have this volume term um, on the outside as well. So what I want to do is assume an ideal gas and see what our variation of enthalpy with respect to pressure is going to be, right? So kind of scrolling down here, uh, using that uh, expression, let's assume an ideal gas. So let me use a different color here. Go with this guy. So assume ideal gas. Right, so if we assume an ideal gas, right, we know that our U, right, so we need a, a few derivatives here, right? Again, you know, we have our ideal gas, so we know that we have an expression for the internal pressure, uh, our internal energy, I mean, and the uh, volume expression, right? So we have everything we need to solve for uh, the ideal case here. So we know that our internal energy is just going to be equal to the degrees of freedom over 2 nRT. Right, so if we take the derivative of u with respect to volume at constant temperature, then we know again here, right, our internal pressure is going to be zero because we only have, uh, this only depends on the temperature, right? This internal energy only depends on temperature. If you're holding that temperature constant, it's going to be zero. And so it actually doesn't matter whether it's a monatomic gas, linear. Uh, if it's ideal, then this is going to be zero every time. So we have that. So the other thing that we need is the uh, differential of volume with respect to pressure. And we know that our volume for the ideal case is going to be nRT over P. Right. So now we just need to differentiate the volume with respect to pressure at constant temperature. And so if you're differentiating with respect to pressure, that's going to give you negative nRT over P squared. And so from that, right, we have that derivative that we need. Now we just have to plug these two back in, right? We know that the internal pressure term is going to be zero, and we know that this guy is going to be negative nRT over P squared. So all we have to do is plug this stuff back in to get our final answer here. So dH dP constant T is going to be equal to, right, so inside that bracket, right, we know that guy is zero, the internal pressure, zero, plus the pressure times the derivative that we just solved for, so negative nRT over P squared plus the volume, right? So when you simplify this guy a little bit, right? So we know that we're going to get some things to cancel here. This pressure is going to cancel with one of the pressures there. So when we drop that stuff down, we get a uh, negative NRT over P plus volume. Now we can actually plug in the volume here, right? So we have negative NRT over P plus the volume itself is also NRT over P. So these two are actually going to cancel. So for the ideal case, the variation of enthalpy with respect to pressure is going to be zero, right? So that's our enthalpy variation for an ideal gas, right? This is specifically for an ideal gas. Right. And so what this tells us is that the in, a, in an ideal case, the enthalpy does not depend on pressure. The enthalpy only depends on temperature. Right. So if you wanted to solve for the enthalpy. Right. All you would have to do is just integrate with respect to temperature. Right. And we know the enthalpy variation with respect to temperature. Right, our enthalpy variation with respect to temperature at constant pressure, that's just your heat capacity. Right, so if you want to get um, enthalpy, right, we know that's equal to CP dt. So if you want to get the total enthalpy change, all you have to do is just integrate with respect to temperature CP dt. Right. All you would have to do is just integrate with respect to temperature. Right. So that's that's really what this result shows us 
is that there's no variation for the ideal case of enthalpy with respect to pressure. So all you would have to do to solve for enthalpy change in that case is just integrate over the temperature, right? And experimentally, that would just mean setting up some uh, constant pressure calorimeter that measures your uh, temperature change and getting that value to get the, uh, the change in enthalpy.